and today it's time to pack Whew. am I the only one who waits until literally the day before to pack yeah cool great love it love procrastinating oh, I'm tired already oh oh my suitcase is so heavy I guess I'll put you guys here for now Who knows why I'm wearing a bandaid on my finger? Does anybody? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about that. But if you're a fan of the channel and you follow me on Instagram and YouTube, then you know why my finger hurts. Like, I would show you guys the picture of what it looked like because it was funny. Um, the day it happened or whatever, <sighs> I'll have to make a story time about that night because that night was a crazy night. Overall, great night. Loved it. <laughs> but it was crazy but long story short um you know those like long clear umbrellas that you get from like a convenience store if you live in korea you know what i'm talking about like gs25 you forgot to get your umbrella when it was raining and it only cost four dollars yeah those umbrellas i didn't realize how cheap they were but i was in the middle of telling this story to my two friends <laughs> and i was getting into the story i was angry about something and we were about to leave the bar and i just slammed my umbrella into like the wood on like the balcony or outside part of the bar or whatever and it just snapped it snapped in half so i'm not gonna say that it wasn't my fault but when i say slam i mean i'm not the hulk okay i didn't bend the umbrella i just like for me what it felt like was i just like tapped it down you know but i don't know maybe in my drunken state i like really slammed it but i i don't really know i just remember i felt like a prick in my finger and then i was like oh i guess i just like scratched my finger or whatever whatever and so my friends are looking at me they're like okay brianna let's go and i'm like cool let's go and then grace turns to me and she's like uh brianna my entire hand was covered in blood it was so much blood and i'm like oh my goodness and so grace knows but like she's drunk too so she can't really see what's going on and then <laughs> she just thought oh i guess it must not be that bad so i was like okay she's like let's go to the convenience store now though i was like no we'll do it when we get home and so we get in the taxi she's holding my hand like this blood's all over the jacket we get to my apartment blood's on the floor all over the bathroom like boots i'm still finding blood on my like wallet and things like it was a crazy time but anyway i couldn't figure out why it was bleeding so much i was like it's literally a tiny like a needle poke and i couldn't figure out why it was bleeding so much well the next day when i took the band-aid off like an entire chunk of my fingers missing and my mom i called her and so i hear this story she's like well how is it gonna heal did, did you still have the piece of skin no i don't have the piece of skin it's somewhere in the umbrella and my friends the second i broke that umbrella they looked at me and both of them were like give me that umbrella right now we're throwing this in the garbage i was like all right i guess you know you guys apparently men aren't gonna get scratched by the umbrella you know i don't know but anyway overall a great night but it was just a crazy time so i We'll probably make a story time about that when I go home because it was honestly one of my favorite party nights even though so many things went wrong but you can't have a good party night without things going wrong right so yeah today we're gonna pack I have two suitcases but I really really want to try to just bring one suitcase oh I forgot I had like in my suitcases I forgot I have this that's great I forgot about that I'm gonna need that yeah let me just I don't, let me get organized real quick Stop whining. Stop it. Come on in. Oh. So I'm honestly not ready at all. I really hope I can fit everything into my... I don't know how I should do this. I don't want to carry two suitcases to the airport, to be honest. I am like the worst packer ever. <laughs> 
I honestly pack like I am moving to the moon and there's going to be my husband there and I need to impress him for the rest of my life, you know, like a hundred years. And that's how I pack. And I pack, you know, on the moon there'd be probably no stores. So that's how I pack. I literally bring so many things, even though I know at my house I have a lot of clothes. So I don't know why I'm packing this much. But so I'm only gonna show you guys like the cute, unique things that I think I have. So I'm packing this cute shirt let me button it up so you guys can see another quiz time who knows how long brianna's gonna be home from so this shirt is super cute i got it in japan back when people could travel i'm really saucy about this but um i got this shirt in tokyo i think it's super cute i was telling grace i got it on the last day i was like grace i need something that looks like when somebody sees it wow she went to japan and whenever anybody sees a shirt that's exactly what they say they're like wow she went to japan yeah yeah, I did. I'm cool, okay? Do you wanna come to America? Jisong. No? You wanna be an American cat? Jisong, Jisong, do you wanna be American? Oh, <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither, my boy. This is another shirt that I think is really cute. My sister, I would say, gave it to me. She didn't give it to me. I went in her closet and stole it. But my sister's always still close from my closet, so I don't feel that bad. Um, but I thought it's cute. It's nice and springy. I don't think you guys have seen me wear this before. <sighs> I really don't know how to pack. I feel like if I just watched some YouTube videos, it'd probably be really easy. But I guess he doesn't want to do that. This girl. I really like, like, cute shirts like this. You know, I mean, they're not, like, cute or anything, but they're, like, they're just plain. But I think they make you look slim. They slim you down. And I can't really wear just like spaghetti straps in Korea. You know, that makes me look like a hoe. Apparently, you know, boys looking at my shoulders getting all turned on. But in Korea, it's perfectly okay to wear the shortest skirt on planet Earth. But don't show your shoulders and don't show your titties, okay? As you guys know, I love to wear skirts. I know you guys have seen this skirt before, but it's so cute. I got it from this vintage store in Daejeon, and the guy, I think he only charged me like 15 or $20 for this. And it doesn't have a size, but thank goodness for stretching things, because that is a cute skirt. I feel like it's unique. I really like this shirt because it makes me feel like I'm in the 90s. Do you guys consider me a millennial? Do you guys consider people born in 1996 a Okay, anyway, do you guys consider people born in 1996 a millennial? If you say no, get off my channel. Well, not really. <laughs> sometimes it's convenient to be a millennial, you know, sometimes it's convenient to be a Gen Z. I prefer millennial because, you know, I think that, like, I feel like people like blame Gen Z for everything these days and like, they're just really embarrassed by them, which I don't think is the case because if we go back and look at what we were doing <laughs> in middle school and how we were dressed with our snake hair and our gothic looks and just, you know, just silly bands and just the silliest of things, like we looked a hot mess too and we did some stupid challenges too, like we were doing the cinnamon challenge and stuff, like I'm not saying that's worse than the Tide Pod challenge, but we can't really be out here judging Gen Z. <laughs> but I feel like there's just this connotation and I'm like, oh, well, everybody's like, it's cooler to be a millennial, but I mean, I don't really think that's necessarily true. Do you guys remember back in like middle school and high school when teachers were like, oh my gosh, your pants are ripped. Yeah, I know. That's the point of the pants. Here's where I need to get my hair products, my makeup, even though, as you guys know, um, I am the queen of makeup, but that should probably be all I need. This is my makeup. <laughs> That's all I'm taking. Maybe some blush and some lipstick, but I can get that later. 
some hair accessories. You didn't ask me better on this <laughs> Okay, it was very round. <laughs> round, but very cut. You can make sure that double your carry on, right? No, it's too big. It's too big. I had a smaller one that I think is at home that I could do with that, but I'm just, backpacks are easier to carry. I'm a duffel bag. Alright, we're time to check the wheels. Ugh! Forgot how to use. Did you pick it up too early? Carried about 56. Point. Gotta take some things out. What's all that about? <laughs> we were showing G-Song. Yeah, the noise. <laughs> what the fuck? Because uh, when I did the noise, he looked at me weird. <laughs> hey everyone, so I'm finally done packing. I decided instead of doing the duffel bag, I was gonna do my two suitcases. I put everything in the smaller suitcase and then put it inside the bigger suitcase so that, you know what, I can do some shopping when I'm at home in my well, closet. I'm <laughs> and Grace is apparently gonna send a bunch of stuff too. But um yeah, so got it under 50 pounds. It was 48 or 47 point something. I don't remember, but it's under 50, so that's all I cared about. So yeah, I'm excited. Tit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you give this video a like, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.